тема моего обращения – ситуация на Украине. That was Russian President Vladimir Putin. He's saying the war in Ukraine is over. That's reason to cheer, right? Then why is the world not celebrating? More importantly, why is no one reporting it? It's because Putin did not say this. What you saw was a deep fake video. The face was his, the words were not. And yet, it's almost convincing, also dangerous. But that's not how it began. Deep fake started out as face swaps, a fun way to be someone else. Want to be the next Leonardo DiCaprio in Titanic? No problem. With some deep fake magic, you could sink with the boat. But as technology advanced, deep fakes got a little too real. The fakes started getting better and the apps behind them easier to use and that poses a problem. Because for the longest time we've said that seeing is believing. But that may not be the case anymore. You shouldn't believe everything you see. It may be fake or a deep fake. What does that even mean? What is a deep fake? How can you spot one? Is it blurring the line between fiction and reality and why should you care? Hello and welcome, I'm Palki Sharma, and on this show, we'll try to read between the lines. This time, even between the pictures, the stated and the unstated, the obvious and the hidden, to bring you the full story. We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time. One man with total control of billions of people's stolen data. We take the blame. I'm sorry we wrote this in like six days or something. Now. Let's burn the script at season eight. All those videos that you just saw were deep fakes. They may look like the real person, but they are AI generated imposters. Simply put, deep fakes are 21st century's answer to Photoshop. Let's take the term first deep fake. The deep here stands for deep learning, and the fake just means fake. This is a form of artificial intelligence that makes images of fake events. And how is it done? Say you have two people, person A and person B. You want to swap their faces. First, you run their shots through an AI algorithm. It's called the encoder. You run thousands of shots through this encoder. It will start looking at the similarities between these two faces, and then the swap will begin. The AI compares the face frame by frame. It focuses on similarities and turns them into common shared features. That's another algorithm. And what does it do? It reconstructs the face of person A with the expressions and voice of person B. This is the ultimate step, the perfect swap. I know it sounds complex because it is complex. Making a deep fake is not an easy process. For a video to look very real, you have to match it frame by frame. Now, a standard video has more than 20 frames, so you can imagine how complex this is, more than a thousand frames to match every minute. But now there are apps that make it easier for you. They don't give the same finesse and accuracy, but they're pretty good, and they're getting better. When deepfakes first began, they promised a digital utopia. You could be anyone you wanted to be. All it took was a pinch of technology and a dash of audacity. You could recreate old photos. Soon people started using them to create videos of dead relatives. It was unsettling. It triggered some questions. But it was still seen as largely harmless. Pretty soon, things took a turn. There was a spate of fake content. Deep fakes sent credibility on a one-way trip to the Bermuda Triangle. They became less about making Tom Cruise dance like a monkey and more about violating someone's dignity. I'll tell you why I say this. More than 90% of deep fake videos are pornographic. In 2019, 15,000 deep fake videos were found online. Out of these, 96% were adult content. 99% were faces of female celebrities mapped on porn stars. It's like a nightmare you can't escape. Faces and bodies are being digitally stolen. They're being stripped of their agency and cast in explicit videos. And it doesn't end there. Journalism, the cornerstone of democracy, is now under siege. Deep fakes blur the distinction between truth and deception. It's hard to verify videos. More often than not, people don't even bother. They just forward. I'm sure you've seen examples. Last year, a video of Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky made the rounds. It showed him asking soldiers to lay down their weapons, asking them to return to their families. The video was quickly flagged by Ukraine and the president himself, and so it was easy for Facebook to take it down. But it still created some hysteria. 
that the recommended way forward will be to invoke the Selective Service Act, as is my authority as president. The first to be called in a sequence determined by national lottery will be men and women whose 20th birthday falls during calendar year 2023. Then there was a video of the U.S. president calling for a national draft. Joe Biden never said that, but it still caused some panic. Then we had Putin calling for peace. It was taken down by Meta. These were shoddy pieces of work. So they were easy to spot and erase. But the next ones may be more sophisticated. They may even feature your children. Watch this. It's a scary prospect. And it's not limited to videos. There are doctored photos, like this one of Rishi Sunak pulling a substandard pint of beer. Then there are voice recordings. They're called voice skins or voice clones. In 2021, the voice of a company director was cloned. It led to a $35 million heist. It was an elaborate scandal that duped everyone. The company's insurers believe the voice was a deep fake. In Europe, two politicians got duped. They thought they were on a call with the mayor of Kiev. Again, it was a deep fake. And these are just some of the many such scams that have come to light. Some of them even use WhatsApp recorded messages. These practices are rampant and they affect you directly. So what can you do? Well, first of all, do know that deep fakes can cause real damage. Here's another example. This is from Gabon in 2019. Their president, Ali Bongo, appeared on a video. He made a short speech, around three minutes long. During this time, his eyes neither moved nor blinked. His body appeared to be bolted to the chair. His hands looked glued to each other. Many thought the video was a deep fake. Ali Bongo had already been missing for a few months, so they feared that he may be dead. This video address was meant to put those concerns to rest. Instead, it kicked off a coup. It was not successful. Ali Bongo is still the president of Gabon, but the video caused unrest. The economy suffered, the dissenters were arrested and killed. All in all, it was a recipe for unrest. So you realize what deep fakes can do. They can tank stock prices, influence voters, provoke religious tensions, even lead to coups. So what is the solution? Well, the same as the problem, ironically. AI created the problem. AI is also the solution. Artificial intelligence can help spot deep fakes. It's a fairly effective system, although it has a weakness. It works best for celebrities or political leaders. That's because their videos are already available on the internet, so AI has ready reference and it's easy to spot a fake. But for ordinary citizens, it could be a little more difficult. Which brings us to our last question. What should you do? How can you spot a deep fake? In 2018, American researchers gave a tip. They said, deep fakes don't blink like we humans do. And the reason is obvious. Deep fakes are trained on pictures, static frames. And most of them show people with eyes open. So no blinking. Sounds like the silver bullet, right? But this is where things get complicated. Once this weakness was revealed, deep fake videos started fixing it. So a high quality deep fake will also blink. But the poor quality ones can still be spotted. They have some clear giveaways. Either the lip syncing is bad, or the skin tone is patchy, or their faces have blurred edges or strange reflections. All of these indicate that it is a deep fake. The key is to look carefully. If something feels odd, don't hit forward. Take a step back and check if it's real or not. Because this is not a harmless game anymore. It's the making of a scary, chaotic future. You must be vigilant and aware, because in the world of deepfakes, seeing is no longer believing.